Providence Police providing an update today on a double homicide investigation from over the weekend. A heavy police presence filled Hathaway Street early Saturday morning after two people were discovered shot to death inside of a pickup truck. 12 News reporter Joe Cortez live in studio right now with the very latest from those officials. Joe. Patrick, during the briefing, Providence Major David LePayton said they definitely believe this was a targeted attack after a 29-year-old male and 30-year-old female were found shot to death inside their vehicle. Cranston police were first on scene around 12.05 Saturday morning for a report of shots fired on Hathaway Street. Now, Providence police were called in there shortly after. They say both victims were in some sort of relationship and they both resided in Pawtucket. Now, Chief Perez said they found graffiti on the scene and are looking into the possibility of this being an anti-Semitic case. Now, LePayton said several shots were fired. The suspects fled the scene. There were narcotics present, but they don't know or believe if they had anything to do with the shooting. Now, between both the victims, they leave behind four children. It's something that uh, is concerning, uh, but again, we, uh, we have a lot of different uh, organizations that we work with, including family services and different victim advocates, to ensure that the family and the children receive the attention and the resources they need. Mm -hmm. And so we'll continue to police the city in a professional manner, constitutional manner, and I'll tell you, we'll continue to make sure we do everything to ensure that criminals that want to commit murders and violent crime in our city are held accountable. Now, this investigation is still ongoing. They're continuing to gather more information, but LePayton said they are making progress. We will keep you updated as this case develops both on air and online at WPRI.com. As for the names of the victims, they will be released very shortly. Live in studio, Joe Cortez, 12 News.